Hello, Sam from Tool Hut. Today's video is about putting an FJDS icon on your desktop. If you do not want an FJDS icon on your desktop, please stop the video now. Everybody else, stand by. For everybody that stuck around, what is an FJDS icon? An FJDS icon is a J2534 application to run the Ford Motorcraft Service programming software through a J2534 interface. Ford is pretty friendly about which device you can use. So if you follow the steps, set your computer up right, you probably got a pretty good level of success. First things first, you can either start with Internet Explorer or you're going to need it when it comes time to license it. So I have chosen to download the software using Chrome, but like I said, to license it's going to take Internet Explorer. So www.motorcraftservice.com. Don't forget the W's or you won't get there going to go to Diagnostics Tool Support, FJDS, and download software. I'm going to download the latest version right here at the top. There is an update underneath it. I typically do not do the updates. Just a waste of time in my opinion. If you're using J2534, you're not working on brand new cars. So I don't see the value in the updates and I've seen problems with them. So you may get this message here, uh, Windows protected your PC because nobody knows who Ford Motorcraft Service is. So we're just going to hit past that going to run it anyway. I think it's a safe bet. There's nothing in this one. If you got it from the right place. So this is about a 30 minute process from the time you sit down. So be prepared to spend about 30 minutes start to finish before you're able to program a vehicle. That does not include downloading the drivers for your J2534 device if you haven't done that. The computer will have to be rebooted. So if you need a password or something like that, make sure you got that before you proceed here. Gotta accept the terms and analyzes your disk for you. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. It's going to download it and then it's going to install it here. So um, I have sped through this process to extremes here because I'm sure you didn't want to see sit here and watch these green bars go across. Like I said it was about a 30 minute process. I'm sure you didn't want to see a 30 minute video on installing software. configuring. You see this a lot during the process. Nobody really knows what it's configuring, but it is configuring, so just leave it alone. Got to install this network adapter. Not real sure why, but if you don't, it won't work, so I guess we'll install it. More configuring. We've got an SVG viewer set up. Have to hit close. I hate software that makes you babysit it. More configuring. This is the database. This takes a long time. I did this 15 times the regular speed. So that once the database is updated, it's got to configure again. Now we get to reboot the computer. Once you've booted the computer, we're going to open up our Internet Explorer. Remember, I said Internet Explorer. I'm going to go back to Diagnostics Tool Support. And I'm going to go to Licensing. I'm going to scroll down here. So the FJDS is for Module Programming. So be aware of which one you need here. Does 96 to 2017 Ford vehicles. Click on the button down here at the bottom to create an account. 
once you have clicked on the button to create an account you'll be taken to a page here that you need to create the account on we have to tell it you're going to create an account again first though so don't get confused I know we told it we were going to create an account now we have to tell it again we're going to create an account but don't worry it's pretty simple from there just create the account so once you've got your account created your license purchased whatever you're going to do we're going to open up FJDS again you have to select a J2534 device to start with I just have one you're going to save the device I'm going to click on FJDS again And this is the page you get. We're going to tell it we're non-dealer. It says United States. I'm sure it works in other countries. I'm just going to hit cancel here because I did not obtain a license for this video. But I can still show you some of the, the setup functions that I do. The licensing really isn't that hard to do. You just put in your uh, name, address, phone number, credit card information stuff like that gives you a 20 digit password or a license number for the FJDS so over to the left hand side I don't know what you call that little icon over on the left hand side but that's where we're gonna start I'm gonna just check a couple things here and then I'm gonna go down to the bottom left hand corner it looks like two people talking to each other must be standing around a water cooler or something like that so then over on the right hand side there's an icon I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna we can change all of the settings here to whatever we desire uh, the biggest one is the repair order this will save you a whole screen of information about 30 seconds really because it's gonna load that screen so now your FJDS is set up ready to roll the only thing I did not cover was the actual licensing of it but if you look at some of my IDS install videos it's got the licensing process in there and it's the same exact process so thanks for watching thumbs up thumbs down questions comments concerns criticisms put it down there if it's clean I'll leave it if it's not I'll delete it